Hello there, welcome to Wastelands Raceway. I am Kinky Weasel and today I'm going to see how easy it is to turn out a half decent Gaslands ready car using minimum tools, um, equipment and skills. There's loads of videos out there um, where we get techniques to do this and techniques to do that and that's great and you know, there's, there's some brilliant stuff out there. But what if you haven't got the time or haven't got the budget or haven't got the experience and skills to replicate some of that I'm going to see how quick and easy it is to actually turn something out so I have Hot Wheels car it's the Hot Wheels Porsche 956 Outlaw um, nice little car so there, there's the car I've got a couple of scraps of sandpaper one quite coarse, one quite fine. Got some tweezers. And I've got a couple of little beads here that, that I've got my bits box. Um, they're tiny little bits of tube, um, essentially. And I'm going to use two, maybe three paints. I've got a black one, which is just game colour black I've had for years. And uh, that's from Vallejo. Two army painters. Dark stone and leather brown. Um, and the only other thing I'll be using is some super glue, cheap old stuff from the pound shop. So let's see what I can do, shall we? Okay, so I am not going to drill the base out, the rivets out to separate it. So I'm not going to be removing the glass, I'm not going to be stripping the paint, um, and I'm not even going to glue the wheels. So this is just Hot Wheels car as is. First thing I'll do then, just get this scrap of sandpaper, just start scuffing it up a bit. Now what I want to try and do is ensure that the scratches all run in the same direction, just to give the impression of having in moving forward at speed. There we are. Just a, just a wee bit knackered. I've overdone it but on the sides the, the numbers and were completely gone but well it is what it is well it is what it is so that's what two three minutes of sanding that's about it that'll do um now before doing any painting let me get these two little beads out and see how they work um and what they are let's pick these up from craft shop um they were i think about a pound if that maybe 75p and there's loads of them they are six millimeter bugle beads um, and what they are essentially I don't know if you can see but they're just tiny little tiny tiny tubes now to a jewelry maker they're tiny tiny little beads to a gas lab type person they could be the muzzles to machine guns now I'm not going to drill anything here this car has got a couple of little um sort of grills there that I guess would have been air intakes. I'm just going to dab a bit of super glue in there. If it'll work. Right. Talk about yourselves. There you go. You've got a bit of glue in there. For me, that kind of works. There you go, let's see. Two machine guns sticking out the front of the car. Sorted. So, just gonna leave that to, uh, leave the glue to cure for a bit. Once the glue has dried, I'll come back and uh, essentially finish it off. What I'll do is add some leather brown to the black which is army painter leather brown and get it 
mixed in. This is a dark, horrible, muddy brown type colour, really. And what I'm going to do now is just completely wash that all over, all over the car. Quite, quite runny. When it went on, I didn't think it was, wa it was watery enough. It was still too thick and paint-like. So I'm now just washing over it with clean water, just literally thinning it down on the model. Just, so it's turning in. So there you go. That's that done. Well then now I'll just leave the colour the car to dry, let the paint dry on it. Um, and well, I want to play with it a bit because that's what everyone does when they've been painting stuff, don't they? Play with it for a bit and then I'm gonna leave it to dry. And then I'll come back in, probably paint the wheels in, just black black on the tires, um, if they need it. And then leave it at that. So there you go. Paint's pretty much dry, a little bit wet in some of the deeper recesses, but do you know what? It's not bad, is it? I mean, you could turn that out on the table and it would look like you put some effort into converting the car. Um, you're not going to any competitions with it, but do you know what? It works. I wouldn't feel offended if someone turned up to play against me with that vehicle. Yeah. So, hardly any time at all. Hardly any materials. Brilliant. Right, you could leave it like that if you want to. I'm going to take it a little stage further, not a lot further, but all I'm going to do is paint in the lights, the front and rear lights and the indicator lenses, just to just give it a little bit of visual in. And there you have it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm calling that done. Um, not bad, is it? That work for a... For a Gaslands car. There you go, two Ford firing machine guns on a nice old period Porsche that's been a bit bad around and got a bit dirty. So, um, I haven't been timing this, but I reckon maybe 10 minutes work in that in total, um, if you don't include the drying time. And there you got it, a car that you can use for Gaslands without spending a great amount of money without spending a great amount of time, without using a great amount of skill. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, what I'm going to do is, in the unlikely event anyone actually wants this car, then just pop a little comment down in the, in the, in the comment section. Um, and what I'll do is, after a week or so, if there's more than one person who wants the car, I'll do a little prize draw and send it out to whoever wins. Um, and here you go, I'm going to make a commitment now. I'll send it anywhere in the world. Um, so if you like this, give us a thumbs up. If you want the car, drop us a comment down below. Let us know that you'd like it and um, we'll send it out to you. Uh, so that's it. End of this one. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you liked it. Um, and uh, we will see you again soon. Bye for now.